learning a new verb. Well, kind of. We're learning the verb as star. Okay, according to your vocabulary, what does a star mean? To be. Now, what other verb have we learned that means to be? Ser. Ser. Now, these are two words that even though in English they mean the same thing, they're different words. They're used in different um, situations and circumstances. Now, this verb estar is normally used in, there's three main things that I'll talk about, how they're being used. They're being used as emotions, locate, uh, emotions and feelings. They're used in location. And they're using condition. Meaning, emotions, feelings, I am happy, I am sad. Location, I am in class, we are at school. And condition, the food is cold, the car is broken, he is sick. Those are conditions. Okay. Today, we're focusing on using it, or this chapter talks about using it with location, where we are. Okay, things that we're doing. Now, with this verb, what kind of verb is it? A-R-E-R -E or I-R? It's an A-R verb, okay? And it's kind of regular. It has an irregular yo form. Well, let's go through real quick our, uh, our conjugations. We have our yo and our tu and our el, ella, usted. We have nosotros. We have ellos, ellas, ustedes. Okay. Now, it has an irregular yo form. So the yo form, normally when we conjugate an AR verb, when we drop the ending, what do we add for the yo form? The letter O. In this, we don't. It's actually estoy, we have a Y. Okay? So, yo estoy, que significa? What does it mean? I am. Okay. After this, it does follow the same pattern. So, what's the two form? Uh, so, it would be tu. Tu estás, which means, ¿qué significa? You are. You are. Okay, el e usted would be what? Está. Okay, ¿qué significa? It means, he, she, is, or it also is a formal you are. Nosotros estamos, ¿qué significa? We, we are. And then ellos es ustedes están, ¿qué significa? They are or you all are. Okay. Follows the regular AR. As, uh, almost on from there. But notice, what do you notice on, on uh, three of them? Yeah, they have the accent mark. If you didn't have them on these ones, you'd actually be, because the emphasis is, okay, on the uh, last, so on the second to last, which is where they have them. If you took this off, it would be estas and esta, which means this or these. So by using this as far as location, we might say, ¿Dónde estamos? Nosotros. Nosotros estamos ¿Dónde? en la clase. Okay. Uh, we are in, in the class. Yeah, I know, but for like all. Uh, you mean like for saying where someone is? Usually. Okay. Um, ¿Dónde está tu padre? Your father, you would say, Mi padre está donde? En el trabajo? What does that mean? Work. Yeah, he's at work. Alright, so notice we're using this form, this verb, to say where someone is, is at, where they are at. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does or not. 
Any questions about the verb star?